The fourth restoration of Yangchan's Patat Luang, which began early last month, aims to preserve this national and cultural icon. The stupa is of great national, religious and cultural importance and is dear to the heart of all Lao people. The restoration aims to return the revered stupa to its traditional glory in readiness for the 450th anniversary celebration that will take place alongside the annual Thatlong Festival next month. The project organizing committee is overseeing the restoration and is actively seeking donations to finance the repairs. Meanwhile, work crews are busily going about their duties to ensure all jobs are completed on time. The restoration is expected to cost more than 10 billion kip. It is improving the main body of the stupa and giving the gleaming spires a facelift. The landscaping is also being improved and repairs carried out to the electrical system and other features. The organizing committee has so far collected more than 10 kilograms of gold along with cash donations from government sources and private donors. These include more than 650 million kip, 2 million Thai baht and gifts of US dollars and Chinese yuan. Further donations are also being sought. The committee is aiming for the restoration to be complete before this year's Tatwang Festival celebration from November 12 to 14, with the highlight being the placing of more than 10 kilograms of donated gold on the stupa's apex. <laughs> The restoration project was officially launched at the stupa on September 4. The ceremony was attended by Vice President Pang Kham Vipavan, Vientian Mayor Dr. Si Lavung Kut Pai Thun, senior officials, monk, the renovation committee and members of the public. On October 2, another event took place at the stupa to melt the gold that will be used to coat the top of the main spire. The gold melting ceremony marked the start of the restoration and was attended by Prime Minister Thonglun Sisulit, Dr. Sin Lavong Kut Pai Thun, senior officials, monk, the renovation committee and members of the public. The renovation includes repairs to the spherical part of the stupa at the very top, at the base of the stupa, its corridors, gates and doors as well as the gold coating to be placed on the apex. The Patat Luang or Great Sacred Stupa was originally built during the reign of King Saisethat Hirat in the middle of the 16th century. It has long been the national symbol of Laos and is one of the most important monuments in the country. It is considered to be a sacred site because people believed the stupa enshrines a relic of the Lord Buddha. This is the fourth major renovation of the stupa, with others having taken place in 1819, 1930, 1935 and 1976. Patat Luang is a towering golden stupa and one of the most famous cultural landmarks in Laos. It is also among the top tourist attractions and features some of the oldest archaeology in Vientiane and the country. It is a center of religion and culture and teaches people about Laos' ancient cultures and history. The intricate architecture and carvings also provide lessons about the stupa's origins. The stupa was originally built in the 3rd century, at the same time as the establishment of the city of Yangtian. It was built to house some bones that were believed to be those of Lord Buddha. The original stupa was very small and made of stone. It was built as a place for people to worship and pray to Buddha. The original structure was renovated on the order of King Sei Setathirat when he moved to the Lao capital from Rangpabong to Yangtian in 1560. The king led his citizens in enlarging the stupa in 1566 and the original structure was covered with a bigger stupa. From then on, the monument took the name Patat Luang or Great Stupa. The stupa is located in Tatmong village, Sei Sei Ta district, Vientiane. Every November, the colorful Tatmong festival is staged to celebrate the stupa, which is the most revered in Laos. 
people engage in many traditional activities and ritual ceremonies to pay homage to the stupa. These include a wax castle procession, almsgiving, a game of traditional lao hockey, and candlelit processions to honor both the stupa and King Saisi Tatira. The Tat Wong festival is held annually and celebrations last for at least three days. The culmination of the festival always falls on the fifth full moon day of the 11th lunar month, which this year is November 14. The Wax Castle procession is the most colorful activity and always attracts large crowds. <laughs>